Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Clavo, and today we are back, of course, in Pokemon Scarlet. And this is episode 14 of my series. So if you haven't watched any of these episodes so far, and you've come into episode 14, there will be a link down below for a playlist. So go ahead and click on that. You'll be able to then watch all the videos previously, so all the last 13 episodes. And then you can come back and you can watch this episode and kind of understand what is going on at the moment. So, uh, in the last episode, what did we do? That is a very good question. So, in episode 13, we went ahead and continued exploring. We found some Terra Crystals, which we didn't really touch. Uh, we fought a lot more trainers. Arvin then calls us, and we do some more trainer battles. Uh, so Arvin called us a little bit about the Titan that was in the area. We do some more trainer battles, catch more Pokemon, and of course more trainer battles. So, very much a lot of exploring, a lot of trainer battles, a lot of a lot of that kind of stuff. So it's probably going to be very similar to today's episode. However, I do believe we are going to go and hit our first gym in this episode. So I hope you are looking forward to that. And if you are, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. So, but we will get into this right away. So it looks like I have just noticed a new Pokemon I don't have. So what do we do? We of course go and catch this Pokemon. Because why wouldn't I catch a Pokemon that I don't already have? So yeah, it's called a Cloth or a Cloth or a whatever. It's basically a crabby thing. It's a rock type, and actually the Titan in this area is exactly one of those, just a bigger version. So yeah, I go ahead and beat the pants off of this thing, and then I uh, throw a lovely little Pokeball at it, and then catch it. So, another one to then add to the collection, as soon as uh, he decides he is done with his anger shell. Which seems to uh, do a lot of things, which is quite interesting. At least it drops the defense and everything, so of course if you were to attack it, you're likely to probably hurt it quite badly. But he's of course then used that uh, rock move against me, and it has done some decent amount of damage, but that's because his attack and special attack have all been boosted. But it doesn't matter, because we've now caught him. Which is fantastic. Now, I think in the last episode, I was very much, I went very much off on a tangent. Wasn't really focusing on the images at hand or the video that was going on. Uh, so, I probably lost the plot a little bit with that. So, apologies if uh, you felt like I went a bit off the tangent. But if you liked that and you want to hear me go off tangents more often, then please let me know. Uh, I know I do keep asking you to to give us comments. Oh, of course, there we go. Actually, you're literally just looking at it, you can see the big crab on the side. I, of course, completely ignored him because that's kind of what you do, right? Yeah, maybe I should have gone and taken him out first. In hindsight, I probably should have done. But I didn't want to fight anything until I'd got my first gym out of the way. At the very least, that was like the minimum I wanted to do. So... That's why I didn't touch it. But hey ho, it is what it is. We get there eventually. And when we do, you will see that, of course. So it will be in a later episode at some point. So at the moment, I am just literally just failing miserably at climbing and parkouring. Because, yeah, apparently I can't do that properly. Or at least Coridon can't do that properly. I, I don't get it either. It's and of course we're going to hit Pokemon on the way up because why would we not do that? But it is a rookie D. We've already caught it. Should be a nice, easy kill and a win for us once Quaxwell. Yeah, one hits it perfectly, lovely. Okay, I will take that every day of the week. But yeah, I, uh, I do hope also you are enjoying the music. So, for anyone who still doesn't know, my audio forgot to decide, well, it didn't forget, it just decided not to record. So, I had all of this lovely video footage of me absolutely loving this game, failing miserably of course, but loving this game, and there was zero audio. So, I was very close to throwing my PC out the window, very close to rage quitting, very close to just, yeah, just saying, do you know what, I am done, I am not doing this anymore but thanks to my girlfriend she helped me calm down she got me to see reason she then suggested 
why don't you just find a load of different Pokemon music and put that on there and then I could create like a little quiz kind of thing for you guys to get involved and hopefully leave some comments down below to, to tell me if you've guessed the music. So we are going to continue that into this episode as well because we still have no audio. In fact, I, I, I know for sure that at least like I said, for the rest of this week, we're going to have no audio. I think at least for the first few episodes of next week as well, we're not going to have any audio. I hope it's not going to be much longer, but I play, I have plenty of playlists, plenty of Pokemon music that I can put on. There's so many games out there. I'm sure I can find plenty of music to go over the top of this. I thought best to keep it Pokemon related because we're playing Pokemon instead of just putting some random music on. And yeah. But if you do like the playlist that you're listening to, um, I have put a link down below. So it is another YouTuber who has created this playlist and I absolutely love it. I think it's amazing. I think it really works well with the footage that you're watching, which is just me trying to figure out what I'm doing. I have no idea. Just, yeah, a lot of, it's going to be a lot of this probably in this episode or at least for a while until I finally get my act together and, and get myself over to the gym though but we've just gone and hit another Growlithe which we already have caught so let's not catch another one that will do me nicely thank you very much Quaxwell but yeah I hope you are enjoying the quiz and if you are getting involved then do let me know down below oh and Hoppip has started evolving which is lovely so Hoppip of course evolves into Skiploom, which is amazing. Probably didn't sound very uh, sincere about that, but no, it generally is amazing that we now have ourselves a little Skiploom. So, yeah, I'm just sending out my Quaxwell to go and fight stuff, because why not? Gives me some good XP. Well, relatively good XP. And yeah, well, nice little gimmick all again. Find another one. And lots of items as well, so more Ultra Balls, Poke Balls, the lot. It's always nice to get a load of Poke Balls, get a load of other items that are going to help us throughout our journeys. And do I go and take out this trainer? Oh, I found another gimmick all, of course. Another another coin there. Do I actually go for this? I think I do. Just make sure I'm all healed up and then I take on this this uh, trainer. So I want to write a song but it won't come out as expected. I, I think that's what he said or she said. Noella. Is that Noella or something along those lines? Noelia maybe. But yeah she sends out a nice little toxel. So we will see if we can beat this thing. Find out very quickly that it's not, it's actually strong against fighting type moves. So we're not going to be using many of those, it looks like. So I think I'm just trying to figure out what the best strategy is at this point. Goodbye, Quaxwell, and we'll bring out Crocolore, which, yes, in the last episode we did evolve, or not the last episode, two episodes ago, we did evolve, I believe, if it wasn't the last episode, it might have been the last episode, I don't remember, I think it was two episodes ago, either way, we uh, we did get evolve, uh, evolve our Fuyo Coco into a Crocolore, so no longer the Fuyo, now the Croker. Doesn't really have the a, the similar kind of ring to it, but hey ho, we have to deal with it until I can be bothered to go and change the name and maybe make it back to Fuyo. We shall see. I think we're about wrapped up with this battle. Just deciding what I'm doing with Seed Bomb, whether I'm going to keep it not. You can see that the, uh, the power is 80. So I don't 
get rid of leafage because leafage is only 40. I'd rather have a bit more power, if I'm honest. There we go. That's all wrapped up. Okay. Grab ourselves an agility TM. Very nice. And then we had a random crab try and jump on us. That was uh, rather unexpected. and use Quaxwell and take it out for good measure. And yeah, we're just going to continue exploring, see how many more items we can find, and what have you. And try not to get hit by any other Pokemon and get caught in a battle that we don't want to be in. Of course, we know I do that many times over. I have already in the, the series, and I'm pretty sure it's going to happen and continue happening through the rest of the series. Maybe even happen in this episode, who knows. I'm sure we'll find out together. But at this point, I just think I was just trying to figure out which way I need to go. So I was going in the right direction. And we find another trainer there. So, go ahead and fight him. So I'm doing a treasure hunt too. Are you now? Well, good for you. So, oh, it's a woman named Christina. Or it's a guy called Christina. I suppose any name could be gender neutral these days. Though I would probably more swing towards the, the female race, sex, whatever they are. Helpful that we are paralysed and we're not able to move. So we, uh, yeah, we're just going to sit here and wait until I finally hit it. And I hit it once there. Nearly took it out in one hit. But the wing attack should finish that ghastly off nicely then. And he's about, or she's about to send out a Murkrow. I'm like, hmm, what shall I do? Let's bring out our lovely little cat, Florigato. And yeah, we're going to take on a Murkrow. That's nice, isn't it? And I probably butchered that name. I meant Murkrow. So, yeah, that's what it is. evolves into a haunch crow. Now if I haven't already caught a macro, I do catch one at some point. I'm not sure, I don't remember if I've already caught one. Say, so I've recorded so much footage at this point, I've recorded so much of these voiceovers at this point, and I've watched my footage many many times, but yeah, I, I tend to forget what I've done as soon as I've practically done it, so it's not great, I know, I get it, but hey-ho. I seem to remember everything at work, but then as soon as I try and remember things that I play in a game, I seem to forget. No idea. So you'll have to let me, down, let me know down below if I have caught one or not yet. I'm pretty sure I haven't, because I don't remember seeing one. So, but yes, we will catch one eventually. But at this point, I see another bird I don't recognise, however it is just an Oricorio, and it is the salsa version, as we like to call it, because it's the red and it seems to stand in a rather salsa position. So, I go ahead and get out Rolts for this battle, because I want to put it to sleep, and then try my best to catch it. Now this is one of the first Pokemon, in fact it is the first Pokemon I'm pretty sure that when I do get hypnosis on it, it actually uh, breaks out of the Pokeball, even though it's fallen asleep. And it was rather frustrating when it happened. 
I'm pretty sure I probably shouted a lot of expletives, so I'm not going to repeat them here. Expletives. I'm not going to repeat them here, as we are a kid-friendly show, or at least we're trying to be a kid-friendly show. I mean, it's Pokemon at the end of the day. I want to be kid-friendly. Simple as that. So there's no swearing. I'm doing my best. I do have a potty mouth, but I'm doing my best. So yeah, as you see, the Origorio just decided to go ahead and practically screw me over at that point. Because it was fast asleep. And then it woke up. And yeah, defeated my rolls. So, not good. So who am I going to pick? Fletchland to save the day for us today. Uh, give it a flail, see what happens. Barely any damage at all. Helpful. A little bit more damage, but even then, not the best. But seems to be getting a little bit fortunate with some of the attacks that we do. And of course, quick attack is always an attack that will go first above all, unless the Pokemon you're fighting uses quick attack and has a higher speed, then they will use their attack before you. So we try again, see if we can catch it this time. And it does then catch. So, for some reason, he was just being a donut. And a very annoying little fellow. But we got to your Ricorio, and that's what matters. So, two different variants we've now got. So, we've got the one with like little pom poms, a bit like a cheerleader. And we've now got the salsa bird. And I think that was where I was a bit confused. I was thinking, well,. It says I've caught one before, so why why is it that'll be why? Because they're two different types. It makes sense. All became clear. Well, we've now got to Artisan, which is one of the cities, and actually it's the city where the grass type gym leader's gonna be. So I then eventually, when I'm ready for it, I go and take on the gym. Able to see that very shortly. So yeah, there's some guys on their cyclozars. As we know, that cyclozar was the original Pokemon that would allow their right or their uh, owners to ride on them. Yeah, Crydon's kind of a form of that, I suppose, but isn't at the same time, because Crydon's a legendary as far as we're aware. I mean, the whole thing about fighting those titans will actually improve Crydon further. It's, uh, if you don't already know that, if you do already know that, well, you're clearly playing this game or you've watched other people play it. But if you don't know that, then yeah, that's that's what the Titans are for. They they help boost the abilities of Coridon, so then you can fly, you can swim, you can climb, you can do all of those things. And it's really good. That's why it's very worth it taking them out. But right now, as I say, our focus is more around the gyms. We will get around to doing other things at LA today. So we head into the gym, and I'm thinking great I'm just gonna get myself in I'm gonna start taking on this guy however we have to meet pneumonia first so you're out to earn some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League aren't you well yes of course I am yes I knew it I'm so glad I asked you to do it before you can battle the gym leader you've got to pass a certain challenge set by them it's called a gym test every gym test is different here have these when you use them consider me healing up your Pokemon 
Get us three super potions, can't really complain. I am so glad you're aiming to be champion too. Man, I'm so excited. I guess I'll go back to what every trainer I run into. Alright, Demonia, goodbye. So I just sort of go around and chat to a few people. If anyone will speak to me. And then go speak to the receptionist over here. So welcome to the Artisan Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Clubbo. Correct. Great. Now in order to face gym, face gym leader Brassius, you must complete the, quiz, uh, the test. Here at the Artisan Gym, that means completing a game of Sun, Flora, Hide and Seek. As you may know, Artisan is a city of artists. The artwork made by people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun, something along the lines. Since Sunflora embody these concepts, we try to gather them. Your job today is to find the Sunflora located throughout Artisan. Remember these Pokemon, gather up to ten of them, and bring them to the Sunflora lawn. I'll register the Sunflora lawn's location in your map. When you leave the gym, turn right and you'll see two large Sunflora statues. Head for those. Once you're at the lawn's entrance, the staff are there will tell you more about the gym test. Now go out there and have some fun. Alright then. Sounds fun. Well, she told us to have fun, so I suppose we'll go have fun. Happy days. But yeah, here we go. We're going to head over to the Sun Flora era little area. Hi there, I look after the Artisan Gym Sun Flora. I hope you're ready, Challenger. It's time to, for a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. I'll go ahead and ask the Sunflora to spread themselves around, out around the town. Okay. And then what are we going to do after that, I wonder? Oh yes, we are going to go seek them out, and we have to find ten of them. Now they are all spread around, so I suppose if you've not done this yet, and you are playing the game, or... Uh, you just need a bit of an idea of where they are. Well, watch this video and you'll find all of them where they're supposed to be hidden. I'm assuming they stay in the same place every time. But I can't confirm that for sure. Now it looks like, again, I decided... So past Clever decided he needed to have a quick break for some reason and didn't then shut off his game or shut off his recording. So we're just going to sit here for a few moments and... Again, enjoy the music. Enjoy the fun. Because why should I edit this out when I clearly did it for a reason? No, I didn't really do it for a reason. I just forgot to press stop on my record, clearly. But it's okay. I'm sure we won't have too much longer before we will move in to onto the next piece of dialogue, whatever it might be. So... I suppose we will just enjoy this lovely piano playing in the background while we wait. It is taking quite a while though. This is a very long wait, isn't it? Well, while we wait, I suppose I will uh, ask you guys a question. Now, I've got to think of this question, because I'm now just putting myself on the spot here and asking you a question. Oh, never mind. He's now decided to press it. There we go. So, Flora. Sounds like there's some Flora ready for you. With that, your gym test has now begun. Once you've found ten some Flora, please bring them back here. That's all from me. Good luck. Okay, so we're now going to go and find 10 random Sunflora across this entire little town. So you will find a lot of these Sunflora type artwork. So they were made by Pras Brassius, who is the leader. So found my first one right there, just right underneath that little tree. It's nice and easy to find. To be fair, they are not too hard to find anyway. For the most part, they're kind of in the most sort of obvious spots you find. You just want to kind of find all the little spots that you 
wouldn't just normally go into, and the likelihood is you will find us on Flora there. So that's two down, nice and easy. Didn't take us very long there at all. Third one seems to be enjoying the artwork, so we will go and collect that one as well. And we head round to these interesting sculptures and find another one. And I believe there's one in either in the middle of this area. Well, there's an item at least. It's a nice little quick claw, which is great. But I'm sure, yep, there, over there, there is one over here sitting very comfortably and I'm sure enjoying the scenario, the scenes and everything. And there's another one by the little pond. And then I noticed this maze, so I was like, I'm sure there's going to be some in here. So there's one straight at the entrance. Now I was like, I could go around the maze, but I mean, come on, I've got cried on. I can just literally jump on the side and I can just go ahead and bypass all of this area and just find the sunflower I'm looking for. So there's one right in the middle, which I kind of expected. And there are a few more. There's at least, I think the last two are also in this maze. It was just a case of jumping up and having a look, and we found one there, which is fantastic. And then I think the last one is around somewhere here. And there's another nice piece of artwork. And there it is. So there's all ten. So yeah, if you haven't, as I say, haven't done this gym test yet, those were the locations for me, so hopefully they'll be in exactly the same spot for yourself, and it'll be nice and easy. If you have already done it, then tell me how quickly you got it done. Probably got it quicker than me. But yeah, we're going to take all the 10 back to the field, as that was part of the test. That was nice and easy. To be fair, pretty much all the gym tests that I've done, I've done six of them uh, up to this point, at least to the point of when I'm talking about this. This this is not, of course, what we're all seeing on the game yet, but yeah, I've played a lot of this game, as I said. So I've done six, and yeah, each of the gym tests have been quite fun. I've not failed any as far as I can remember, but they are all fun. So... Highly recommend having a bit of fun with them too. But that was a nice easy gym test, so now we're ready to take on Brassius, the gym leader. So I do a quick little save just in case we somehow fail and we need to restart for whatever reason. Not that it would matter too much if we do fail, we can just go and heal our Pokemon and try again. Level up and try again, but hopefully that's not going to be the case in this situation. So yes, are we going to take on the gym leader? We absolutely are. Yeah, these loading times are very long, I must say. I find they do take a while to, to load up. There we go. We're now on the battlefield. Greetings, challenger. That come from, I wonder. Oh, who's that guy up there? Hmph. I believe this might be Brassius. You did well to come this far. I am Brassius, an artist specializing in grass type Pokemon. I am also the gym leader here at the Artisan Gym. I'm observing your chin test from atop the windmill, you know. Or well, I was, so to say. The perception you displayed in finding some flora was truly. Magnificent, I'm sure. Yes, it was truly avant-garde. I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. Enough talk. We must begin creating our collaborative work of art. So being an artist, of course, he wants to use artistic language for this. So he trusts that I am ready for this. Of course, I am always ready for a battle. So here we go. We are being challenged by the gym leader. Now the music isn't really uh, fitting, I suppose, for this right now, but I quite like the the relaxing, so I'm going to keep it. If you don't like it, I suppose you'll you can tell me in the comments, but it's not going to change. 
But as we are fighting across, Jim, using my fire type, my lovely little Crocolore, she is absolutely going to kick butt. So we practically keep her throughout. I think I do change her out on the last Pokemon. Because for some reason I was an idiot and decided I'm going to switch it out. But as it being a grass type, I should have just kept it. And it would have been easier. So, yeah. It kind of made it a little bit more complicated than I should have done. But because it was Pseudo Widow, I was like, oh, that's a Pseudo Widow. That's like a rock type kind of thing. So water would be good against it, right? Well, it's, it's Terra type is a grass type. So maybe keeping the fire type would have been a better option. So, yeah, but I think I was debating at this point what I'm going to do. Or I just walked away again. But here we go. Oh no, I decide Florigato. We're going to put her in instead. Don't know why. It was a bit of an odd decision. This has promise. Yes, let us lead this artistic endeavour to its conclusion. Brassius sent out Pseudo Wudo. So I go ahead with a seed bomb, which was rather silly of me, because it's a grass type. Or at least it's going to be a grass type eventually. And yes, he did just call that Pokemon Truly Widow, which is very strange, I know. But he goes ahead and crystallizes his, well, terraforms his pseudo Widow. So this is what the gym leaders do. They will terraform their final Pokemon that they have. Let's try and do that last little bit of damage against him. So of course using Z-Bomb against a Pokemon that has a Terraform of Grass, that was rather silly of me. What I was thinking then, I don't know. I don't think I was thinking very much at all. But I suppose the upside was, I'm also a Grass type, so every move that he uses is also going to be uh, not very effective in against myself. But then I realise I'm an idiot. Let's put Crocolaw back in. And then Crocolaw can do some nice bit of damage once I get to attack. So it wasn't very effective. Absolutely, it wasn't a very effective. And I think for good measure, do you know what? Screw it. If you're going to ter terraform your Pokemon, I will terraform mine as well. So we get to see Crocolaw terraformed once again. Well, we had Fuyo, but now it's Crocolaw, so different Pokemon, but kind of same Pokemon. Terraform hasn't changed, it's still fire. Of course, rock types against fire. Quite a bit of damage. However, I survived, and I believe Incinerate is going to practically one hit him. Yep, it does. And that is Brassius done, so that will be our first gym completed. We will get our gym badge, and it will allow us to catch and well, catch Pokemon up to level 25, and they'll also obey us. I think it's 25 for the first gym, and it's 30 for the second. And then I think it's 40 for the third? 50 for the fourth? Something along those lines. Or 45 for the third, 50 for the fourth? Something like that. Now I'm up to six gyms, I think. I can have up to something that's I don't, I don't even remember at this point maybe i'm overzealous with with my thoughts on that but as proof of your artistic prowess you may have my gym badge well thank you very much precious and we'll take a nice little photo in the process and there's a nice little grass gym badge at the bottom there lovely so if you possess one gym burns it will be easier to catch pokemon up to level 25 and those pokemon should follow your commands as well there we are so yeah so that is the gym basically done there. And we also get a nice little TM for our troubles, which is Trailblaze. So it's a nice little grass type move. That I'm sure may come in handy to us at some point if we decide we want to teach our Pokemon that. But I think we will be wrapping this up as we've now completed that gym. So I would like to take this moment to, or again, say thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Uh, if you did like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with your friends and family. 
And yeah, so how did it go, by the way? Well, pneumonia, it went well. Yes, haha, I mean, it was obvious you were going to pass, but congrats. I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gyms. Nice one. I'm training hard too, by the way, day and night, going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we've got the map app. It helps a ton with figuring out where to go next, especially with all of that. After all, the path getting stronger usually has some strange ups and downs. Hmm, speaking of going strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. I, I, well, I'm sure he's not too many things. I'm sure he's enjoying himself. Yeah, anyway, catch you later. I hope you know I'm going to wait. Want to battle with you at some point. Well, I'm sure we will battle her at some point. But yes, I hope. Do have a lovely day as we're going to wrap this up now. Uh, but yes, have a lovely day. And I will see you in the next one.